Hi guys, thank you so much for being here today. I really, really appreciate it. I'm so excited, you guys. Don't forget, this is part of a series. I will be uploading every single day of August. I will be uploading a colorful, bright eyeshadow tutorial. So definitely subscribe, stay tuned, and please comment below what color I should do next. As always, I'm starting with the lid primer, and to set that, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D translucent powder. This step here is really important if you want your eyeshadow to last throughout the entire day and not crease once your eyelid tries to get oily. Next, I'm going to be using this pink shade here and this Morphe brush for my crease. Since we're leaving the brow bone pretty much empty, this light pink works as a great transition shade onto what will become the hot pink lid. Next, I'm going to be using this hot pink to shape my crease out even more. And I'm using a smaller brush as well. To keep my crease even more defined, I'm using a slightly darker hot pink with the same brush and I'm concentrating it on the same place. Now I'm going back into the original hot pink I used and I'm using a different brush, a flat brush actually. I'm going to be placing that hot pink onto my lids starting directly at the center and then spreading out and eventually blending out. For the next step, I did not have glitter glue, so I decided to use a non-toxic crafts glue. I don't really recommend it, that's just what I used, and I used pink glitter. On a clean flat brush, I took a tiny dot of the glue and placed it on my eye. Next, I picked up glitter with the same brush and placed it right over the glue. To tie in the look, I decided to place a little bit of the hot pink eyeshadow right over the glitter just so it didn't look so chunky and just kind of laying over everything. At this point, I stopped to do my foundation routine, which by the way, I do have a tutorial on everything for that. Now I'm just applying brown eyeliner to my lash line because I will be wearing falsies. Finally, I'm going to be applying the original hot pink under my bottom lash line and I like to use a little bit of setting spray on it so that I don't have any loose powder or loose shadow falling onto my foundation. It also helps to enhance the color. When I know I'm going to add shadow on my bottom lash line like this, I like to leave the mascara till the very end so that I don't cover the mascara with the actual color of the shadow. And here we have the finished look. As always, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you tomorrow.